hey, hi, I'm Chris, and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I can't taste this broccoli, and I'm going over today's science file. Do you really need spit before you can taste your food? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a paper towel, some sugar packets, and your tongue. Do your parents force you to stay at the table until you finish disgusting vegetables that you don't like? told you there is a way to eat your vegetables and not have to taste them. Well, you're in luck because I'm going to show you a wicked cool trick that'll make it so you won't ever have to taste those disgusting vegetables again. Start by getting yourself a napkin. Take the napkin and you're going to dry your tongue off completely. I'm not kidding. You gotta, you gotta, tongue's gotta be like super wicked and dry. I mean, I'm not kidding here. Cause, okay, you see this sand right here? Your, this sand is super dry. Your mouth needs to be as super dry as this sand is right now. Then get yourself a couple of these sugar packets. Of course, you know, if you don't have sugar packets, you know, it's amazing what you can get for free when you tell a hotel you just want to see their room. <laughs> okay, here's what you're gonna do. Put the sugar on your dry tongue. Now that's so wicked cool! I couldn't taste the sugar at all. Well, so why does, you know, the sugar have no taste when you dry your tongue? And why can you only taste the sugar when you mix it, you know, with the spit? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Your taste buds don't actually taste the food you eat, but rather sense ions produced or affected by foods and send this information to the brain to be interpreted as taste. In order to do this, food particles need to be dissolved in a solution, which is why you can't taste the food when your tongue and mouth are dry. When you dissolve certain foods in a liquid, the chemistry of the water in your mouth changes allowing taste buds to pick up molecular signals. Sodium ions are picked up by the taste bud and send an electrical charge to the brain, which interprets the food as salty. Sour foods contain positively charged hydrogen atoms, which cause a different electrical signal to be sent to the brain. Bitter and sweet foods are not detected by ions in the foods, but instead these foods release a chemical which stops the flow of potassium ions, and the brain interprets these foods as bitter and sweet. To make sure that these foods get the right signal to the brain, three major nerves are used to send taste sensation to the brain. So now you know more about your taste buds. You know, not tasting broccoli is why science is so cool. And I do not like broccoli.